Morning everyone. So in this video we are going to be fitting finally the Sparco Evo seats you can see behind me into the uh, Evo. So I have had the seats for about a month or so now and I was waiting for the subframes, the Sparco subframes to arrive. They took a while to make and while I was waiting for that I fitted the IRP shifter and as part of that I kind of had bits to trim out the car anyway because I'm doing other jobs, uh, carbon door cards and stuff, I'm waiting for that kit to arrive. So the car is kind of semi in bits on the interior. I am sat in one of the Recaro MR Evo 8 seats right now, which is the passenger seat. So we just need to get out the driver's seat and then we can mount up the subframe and then kind of put the seat onto its uh, base and then kind of get it in the car and sort of work out what we need to do. I'm already thinking that there's a few little things that need to be done, but we'll kind of explore them as we get into the video. But it should be pretty straightforward. I always say that, and then it always ends up taking like nine months to do the video. But we will see, I may surprise myself. So here is our rather gorgeous original Recaro um, Evo 8, I think. I keep saying that, MR seat came with the car. Um, great seat, not that heavy. I will put weights up in the video as we get along, but obviously you can't compare these with these. And why did I go for Sparco seats when I am a pole position person? Or why didn't I go for Bride? Well, didn't go for Bride because they're so fucking expensive. I don't get why. It's like the JDM tax. It's like Takata harnesses. I don't know why they're so much more expensive than other models i don't think they're better built i don't think they're light i don't think they offer anything that other manufacturers uh, don't already offer so bride would have been cool but i just kind of i'm making a stand to try not to spend too much money on cars uh, as i do so we went for sparco and we went for surprise surprise Evo, I mean, it was a bit of a no-brainer, really. I drive an Evo, so the seats had to be Evo. So as soon as I knew that Sparco made an Evo model seat, and they have done for years and years and years, and for a few years, they made some really naff ones with like white piping on them and stuff that looked terrible, but now they look like they're back to sort of serious seats. Um, it was just a logical choice. I went for the standard size. They do an L, they do an XL, I think they have two, three, maybe four different sizes in these seats, depending on uh, your kind of build. Uh, I am six foot tall. I am just under 80 kilos. I have very kind of small hips and tiny stringy legs. And these seats are perfect for me. There's a little bit of wiggle room uh, in them. And my girlfriend, who is your kind of average lady, um, well, she's definitely not an average lady, but in terms of sort of size and building stuff, girls have bigger butts, wider hips, and she fits in these standard seats. So for anyone kind of wondering, the standard Evo seat, which is obviously a bit lighter and a bit narrower, should be fine for most applications, I think. So anyway, just thought I'd share that. So. We have all the kit here. We have the little Sparco frames, which are very light because they're very, very simple. Uh, don't know why it took so long to make them. We've got the aluminium Sparco side mounts for the seats. I'll put weights up again in the video. And obviously we've got the seats. These little brackets here is me going to be dicking around with this kind of thing is I want to fit the, where are we? I want to fit the stock seatbelt uh, onto the Sparkos because I don't really want harnesses because I don't have a roll cage in the car and I kind of want to keep it a bit more club sporty and harnesses are a bit of a pain in the ass uh, to put on. They're not very comfortable around your neck and stuff and I'm not really going to track this car so it's like it would mainly be for looks. So I'm gonna try and get away without using harnesses, but obviously we may find out at the end of this video, which I've not filmed yet, because I can't time travel whether or not harnesses will be required. So first things first, let's get out of the driver's seat uh, and then we can crack on with all the crap I said I was gonna do at the start of the video. So very easy to remove the seats in the Evo. It's just four bolts, 14 mil, two at the front, two at the back. So let's get those out. And then the hardest bit is actually getting the seat out of the car when it's in a bit of a confined space, but, um, yeah. OK, 
Okay, so that is the seats out of the car. Um, I've just unwrapped the Sparkos. I would say, honestly speaking, that, I mean, these two seats cost about 630 quid, something like that, obviously in Swedish. Um, they're not the cheapest Sparkos you can get, but remain to see how comfortable they are. But yeah, like already you can tell the difference between the quality of these in terms of like the manufacturing um, and the pole positions, which are like twice the price or more. These don't look as expensive, uh, sadly, um, but we'll see what they're like when we get them in the car. I've also got one of the uh, frames here from Sparco and bear in mind this is brand spanking new out of the packet and paint missing off here, paint missing here, scratches here, rust here, massive scratch there, just it's like so these were about oh, 200 quid, 200 and something quid maybe tops for both of them. <sighs> yeah, not impressed. I mean, I know they won't be seen, but there's also loose uh, weld material rattling around in the pipes as well. So Sparco, sort your shit out. These are not very good. Anyway, let's put one in the car uh, and yeah, let's kind of move on from there. So first snag straight away, these don't fit. Um, if you look here, we can get one side on like that, but then this is nowhere near close to get that side on. Um, that hole under there is way out and this hole here you can see is way out so these are a piece of shit I've got to say um, if you can find an alternative to Sparco seat mounts I suggest buying them uh, I will use these I will make them fit but these are crap a few inches later okay excuse the tape that's me just getting ready for the next step I've drilled out all four holes to 14 mil so four mil larger diameter than they were uh, when the frames came and mounting this one up first because this one was still out tightening this one up when these are over the male uh, threads that kind of pulls the whole thing together so that bit is done one hurdle over now just get the seat mounted up onto the alley side frames and then we can get it in the car work out the horizontal position that i need to make the holes in uh, and then we can obviously sort out the vertical later on so let us get doing that Okay, so that is the seat in position and I have fiddled around off camera a little bit with it just to kind of get it closer to where I want it to be. So the rear mount is on the one up from the bottom. So it's kind of got a nice angle like that. And then the front mount is on the top. Um, this here is wood foul on where the lap belt would go through. Same on the other side, you can see it there. Um, but because I'm just going to use the stock belts, or that is my plan, that isn't going to be an issue for me. Um, but it's worth bearing in mind that if I do want to run belts at some point, then I'm going to have to do something about that. So I'm going to have to jiggle the uh, seat height and seat positioning uh, a bit more. And probably I'm going to have to do that anyway when I drive the car with the seat in because I've probably not got it right. The reason why I'm not running um, runners is because A, there's only going to be me driving the car, although I've asked my player too if she wants to drive it and she keeps saying no um so i have tried only gonna be me driving it and also the seat is still incredibly high i'm like really amazed at how high the seat is so i'll probably do a bit of a google search to see if i can find like an ultra low uh, subframe for the evo because i suspect that other people have got this issue and so i may swap them out at some point in the future well obviously that's not in this video this video we're fitting what we've got and um, so now we know we've got this kind of interposition here so we are running on 
probably can't see it, definitely can't see it. We are running on the third. So the, the front hole here, the standard hole, that's running on the third, kind of about here, um, the third rung back on the side mount. So now I know that that is the case, I can then get drilling holes that will fit on the rear. So a bit of jigging about and mucking about, but um, not that difficult really. So uh, let's go drill the holes and then get the kind of seat in and then we can look at doing the actual belt buckle. So now we're done with drilling the holes, nine mil holes, I made two lots of holes because I actually ended up tweaking the side mounts and I've moved the side mounts into a different position that I'm happier with. Um, so yeah, we've got two lots of holes on there, which isn't great, but you're never going to see them. So that's kind of acceptable. Um, what we need to do now is just basically get these mounted up onto the seat, then we can get the seat in the car, see how it looks, see how it fits, see we're happy with it, and then we can hopefully move on to doing the um, mount for the seat belt and kind of get that bit working, I hope. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on with that. years later okay so the seat is in and i am happy with the position of it now um i've spent a bit of time since the last clip when we put the seat in just working out what to do with the belt and the buckle and i looked online and kind of had a look around to see what the people have done and obviously the pole position abe seats they have like a, a recess in the hip bolster that allows you to uh, fit the buckle on the inside of the hip bolster and the evo seats the sparco seats they don't allow for that obviously so i wanted to make sure if i did go for that approach would it be comfortable and would it work and it does so what i've done is sorry got crap all over the floor these are the front buckles here that's just a 17 mil nut holding them on dead easy to remove and these are the rear buckles here so i'm actually i've modified the rear buckle so this is now a 14 mil hole it was a 10 mil hole and that just means that i can use these little kind of uh, spacer washers from the front uh, buckle to go into there so it'll allow it to rotate like that so with that solution in mind i have just put a bit of velcro on one of the buckles put it in place just to show you give you an idea of what i'm going to do before i fit it up but yeah i think this is the way to go and i think this is going to work please tell me if you think i'm wrong the side mount that's fia approved it's four mil thick aluminium i mean in a crash i think you're gonna have other things to worry about than the belt buckle failing or anything like that i think this is going to be as good as it can be using the stock belts and that's what i wanted to do so here we go you can just about see it there so it's going to kind of sit like that and then it's going to mount into the bottom hole down there so i need to drill that hole out to fit the bolt in uh, that is going to look really good i'm going to work really well uh, i'm really chuffed with that and then for the actual belt itself you can see here i have undone this this is a 17 mil nut down there bolt sorry down there i'm going to push this through the seat like that and then that's going to kind of go down there uh, all proper so the belt itself is going to be through the belt it's going to go through both hip bolsters which is all you want um oh so i'll get the seat out now and i'll get that hole drilled out and then we'll join the action with the hole drilled out i'm just going to kind of mount stuff up and we should be good to get it in do the passenger side and there job done as i say far too often one eternity later okay time has passed now i have resprayed the uh, base mounts in satin black because they were such a state 
and the holes are drilled all ready to be fitted we've got our belts here and got these low profile uh, bolts to use that's a 20 mil maybe i've ordered some 25 as well so maybe i'll swap those out at some point if it's not catching the nylock enough but we've got our nuts and we've got our washers and stuff here so we can just get the belts mounted up onto the side mount and then we can get the side mounts bolted uh torqued properly 25 newton meters i believe for the side mounts uh to the seats and then we can get the floor mounts on to the side mounts and then we can kind of get the seats in the car and get the belts through and that is it job done longer than a few minutes later okay we are done seats are in belts are in i've tested the seats we're all good um yeah that is it this is job done there's one thing left to do but um obviously you need to talk everything i've done all that now to kind of correct specs but let's have a look and see how the seats are now in the car voila there we go so the interior trying to get a good angle the interior is now looking much more racy, much more serious. And we've got our belts going through here. Uh, and then they will go into the buckles here. Probably can't do this with one hand. No, I'm not going to try. But yeah, you get the idea. Both fixed position. Yeah. There we are. Last thing we need to do is the center console armrest bit, which is over here and i've needed to make these holes you can see here both sides so it's identical each side i've had to make these holes so that it clears the um what do you call it like the bolt holes for the subframes on the seats that just fouls too much on the center console so that is now sorted so let's just drop that in and then a few little arty farty musical pictures and videos of the seats uh, and that is it hopefully this is useful for someone and uh, yeah any kind of questions or any comments uh, do let me know at some point there'll be a cage going in I'm sure at some point probably be harnesses but uh, for now I'm going to see how I get on with this um, see how useful it is and how easy it is for the people to use the belts but uh, anyway going on thank you for watching